You know, when I started climbing in 71, I was 12 years old. We had two libraries in Davis, and I read every book, every magazine in both the libraries on climbing. So I read about all these guys, and they were like my heroes. And to meet them in person, man, it was like a lifetime dream and to become friends with them, and for them to be excited about what I'm doing and to encourage me, um, that's why I do it. Uh, those from the same time period are from the uh, first descent of the nose on El Capitan. The most famous piece of gear that they made was what's called the stove leg piton. Uh, first four were made by Frank Tarver, Rich Calderwood made three. The reason he only made three was that when he went to the, the junkyard and let the proprietor know what he was going to do with it, in other words, he was just going to saw the legs off, throw the stove away, he'd only sell him a three-legged stove. He wouldn't sell him a good one. What I like are the stories. There's like so many stories and, and I want to hear more. After years of strategizing, the Yosemite Climbing Association is ready to open its gallery and museum in Mariposa. Though we have to postpone our physical opening, I am so excited about this space. It's an asset for our community, a place where climbers can gather and collectors and the public can interact with historical climbing artifacts and art and photography from Yosemite and beyond. Our intending on doing now is uh, trying to go online and trying to keep the rent and the lights on until things change and we can become that meeting place. But really, it's, it's, it's our culture. Without art, you can't have culture. And climbing has that art. Climbing is that art. All of us were joined together by our common history. That's why right now we're asking you to do anything you can to keep this flame moving forward. I grew up thinking I was going to Vietnam and I didn't think I'd live past 18 years old. I would have made a good cat burglar or, or you know, a life of crime could have happened real easily. But climbing kept me stable, focused, and gave me a good direction when I was a kid. I feel like it saved my life and I want to give something back to climbing and so that's why I do what I do.